Did you know cones are more than an indicator of temperature? The thing that most people don't understand about cones is that cones are just glazes. Glazes with specific chemical compositions that melt at specific temperatures. That's why we use them to measure temperature in a kiln. But today we're gonna explore their hidden talent. So this is cone four, and cone four is actually a cone 10 glaze. Here's the key. When measuring temperature, we can only catch the start of a cone's melting when it first softens. But as a glaze, we need it fully melted. That's why cone 10 cone wouldn't work if fired to its own temperature. So glazes don't melt all at once. It's more like a gradual process that takes about six cones from when the glaze softens to when it completely melts. The beginning of the melting is what we actually track for our firings. Did you know the temperature difference between cone four and cone 10 is only about 123 degrees Celsius? And that difference falls right within the critical melting window for glazes. And that's when the actual melting takes place. All the other time in the fire is just building up heat to get to the last 100 degrees Celsius. So if a cone four is basically a cone 10 glaze waiting to happen, what if we crush it up and use it as a glaze? Let's go find out. And there we have it, a perfect cone 10 glaze born from a humble cone four. Now listen up, glaze chemistry nerds. If we take Herman Seeger's chemistry for cone four and we plot it on Stoll's map, it falls right in the middle of the glossy section. It goes to show how temperature and chemistry are like two sides of the same coin. So next time you fire your kiln, remember, you're not just manipulating heat. You're dancing between temperature and chemistry of your glazes.